Alright guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. So, we are, um, yeah, we're the 120 experience away. So, I tried recording a, uh, video, um, prior to this, and, uh, well, the video kind of aired out, and my computer didn't like it. So, if you press play, or press square, it will play the Harpist Chord, which will open a, uh, door here. And that will allow us to open the trap door to get into Luvia's laboratory. Now, um, I don't know exactly as to where I ended up saving. I could have destroyed a bunch of um, monsters or this is going to be brand new. It looks like it's brand new. So good. I actually deleted the correct save file. Okay, well... I decided to try out something that somebody had said. Somebody said that if you press X multiple times, you do a combo, but it does not seem like it. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we kill that. Oh, my gosh. What is that thing? Okay, so let's increase our wisdom. We got seven points. Armor proficiency for scale. I could do that. Do I have something that is one point? Precise shot. Hmm. Ooh, or the bolt. Fire a burning bolt from your crossbow. Or willpower. Hmm. Alright, let's do uh, armor proficiency and... We'll do precise shot. Why not? It allows me to do uh, a little bit more damage if I go back to range. And the reason I did Wisdom um, is if we uh, increase that. Oh, that is, that's not what I want to use. Um, if we increase that to a certain point, it will allow us to um, get more experience. Oh, that's kind of nice. Ooh, I want to... Okay. I don't know if... Is this magic? No, it's not. It is literally... Okay, so it's just saying that that's our ability. Because it does... Oh, no, it does say... Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Let me... Uh, I want to try something here. Why does it not want to work on the bow? Yeah, fine short bow. I guess that's it. Okay. Whatever. That works with me. I'll I'll take it, I guess. No, it's I don't know why, but it's I can't activate it for some reason. So where's my run? There it is. All right. Oh, didn't even realize I switched back. <laughs> well, there, wow. I, like, shot something off of his head. Okay. So we're in, a, we're in this person's lab who, uh, I don't even know who that is. But definitely she's been doing some experiments on, like, humans or something to turn them into evil zombie things. Alright, nothing there. Ooh, chest. 15 gold. That was, like, a studded leather. Oh, and I can... Ooh, I can equip this. Well, the scale boots is actually worse than my leather. Um... Helmet is worse than my helmet, too. Jeez. Fine studded leather gloves versus leather gloves. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that. There we go. There, now we uh oop, I am stuck. I'm stuck in this area. Come on. Okay. 
Recall potions are very help useful. They will teleport you back to the nearest safe location. You can use them again to return to the location you recalled from. Ah, good. So that's our first recall potion. Now, um... I had, like, two people. Um... Dot Dot Games, and I think the other one's, like, Chrissy Cupcake or something like that. Um, and they ended up saying that if we go in front of the tavern, there should be a familiar face there. So, and I mean, we are... Yeah, we haven't really done much in here, so... Let's, uh... Let's go see what they're talking about, because I don't, I don't know. Alright, return to the, ma the manor. I have a nice, delicious root beer. How do I get through here? There we go. Okay. And then return to Baldur's Gate. Such as fire acid, turning on damage text in the options menu can help you spot this more easily. Okay. Okay. So if we go in front of the tavern... Oh, I can't run in town. So, and I can't change the camera angle either. Okay, so is this the tavern? What is this? Okay, this is the tavern. So if we go in front of the tavern... Not here. Not here. Talk to... Oh, talk to the trader. Hello. Welcome, friend. If you're looking for a good blade or... Or, uh, say, I know you. You're the adventurer that helped Randella Brasshorn back on the tradeway, yes? Oh, it's an honor to meet you then. Randella spoke highly of you, and her words like gold. I'm Bartley, a merchant, and my shop boasts many fine deals. I've also hired on Goodly Durbum, a skilled dwarven artisan. So, if you're looking to have equipment custom made or broken down, my workshop will serve you well. Okay. The, okay, so, um... It's simple and affordable, my friend. If you've gathered any magical components, magical gems, and the like, you can have them crafted into whatever equipment you need. Ooh. Or, if you have magical equipment that you'd like broken down for the wrong components, and perhaps even reforged into something else, we can do that for a small fee as well. Okay. Uh, what does, uh... Oh, nope, I didn't. I didn't want to say farewell. Okay, talk to you. Welcome, friend. You know, they're saying you intend to enter Bloodmire Manor. I have a bad feeling about that place myself. Hear any rumors? I can't say that I have, friend. Nothing of interest to an adventurer, at least. You might ask Randella, though. She's always collecting information about this or that. Kind of like Bartley. Okay. How does the workshop function? What does your store have to offer? There we go. All right. So now we can sell some stuff. Okay. I don't need those. I don't need those. Honestly, we don't even need these because we have better armor. I will keep the shield now that we can actually equip that. Okay. We don't need the shoddy versions of any of these. We'll keep the remarkable, though. Right <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, remarkable ring, shoddy amulet, and a recall potion. Okay. Now what do we got? Okay. Superior dagger. Superior dagger. And a superior dagger. Let's get rid of that one because it's a different look. Let's see. Fine short sword, shoddy great sword, fine hand axe. Spear, mace. What am I currently using? Remarkable light mace. Shoddy scimitar. Why am I using the scimitar? And not like the morning star. Honestly, I should be using the morning star, not the light mace. Hold on. Um, yeah. Unequip. Unequip. I mean, if we're going to go with, you know... Two weapons at once. That's a bastard sword. We're not going to do that. I mean, 
Blade and Blade and Mace or Blade and Morningstar makes the most sense. Welcome back, friend. All right. Um, what does your store have to offer? Sell. Okay. Let's see. Blade for three to four, two to nine. I mean, yeah, we'll get rid of the scimitar, battle axe, war hammer, the superior dagger, the short sword, though. Seeking arms and armor. I have Great sword. Where's the bastard right sword? Here. Bastard sword, eight to eighteen. So we don't need this great sword. We have this great axe, so I don't even need this battle axe. Um. Wow, look at how much... Um, I don't need that throwing dagger. Okay, light mace. But, I mean, we already have a better light mace than that. So, get rid of you. My shop Only spear. Okay, I think that's fine for now. So, what do you have to buy? Fine battle axe, fine long... Ooh, plus one defending staff. Plus one fine battle axe of mighty cleaving. Oh, we could easily buy that. A light mace of disruption. A fey dagger. A fine short sword of corruption. Ooh, iron. Padded. What am I currently wearing? Or, like, what do I currently have for armor? Fine padded. Okay. We go to buy. That's just normal padded. There's scale, so I could buy one of those. Or fine scale, I could buy that. <laughs> That's 30 pounds. Hot dang. Ooh. Bring a battle. Keen amulet. A rune stone. Ooh. Ruby. Okay, um, hmm. Let's do, let's buy the ruby. Okay. Workshop. Um. Remarkable ring. Oh, we need, so why did I buy the ruby then? Well, God, I'm stupid. That was a waste of money. Um, okay, so let's buy. No, no, no. Buy. Uh, the rune stone and the moonstone. And then workshop the remarkable ring with the rune stone. Ring of protection. What about this one? Okay, that seems to all be ring of protections, but... Studded leather gloves, plus one fine studded leather gloves, plus one fine padded armor. That's not too bad. Okay, so right now I have equips uh, the light mace. It's just a plus one remarkable. That seems to all that's going to be is a plus one. Although that plus one remarkable ring of protection. Prices are always more than fair, friend. What are you yeah, we'll make that. Upgrade this item for 562 gold. Sure. All right, so now, look at that. We have a remarkable ring of protection, which that should give us, like, plus one to our AC or something like that, which is awesome. So thanks, guys, for letting me know about that. Not here. Okay. Ooh, which means I could run back around in the um, manor because I know that I left a lot of um, stuff just laying around. So I want to see if I can find any of that stuff, actually. I mean, if I... It would all be, like, in one place. But, I mean, that can end up being, you know, a little bit more money that we end up getting. And at least with this, I can move kind of fast. Now, I don't know if any of the stuff will be here. I'm going to assume that it is. 
And I mean, as soon as, like, we I end up getting a prompt, I'll be able to tell. Did we search that? We did not. Or, no, we did, actually. I don't know why I thought we didn't. But, I mean, it, yeah, now we're 70 pounds lighter, which is awesome. I mean, I'll gladly, you know, run around a little bit. We might have to go to the second floor. I think that's where I may have dropped a lot of our stuff. Or up in the attic or something. But, I mean, if I could run around and end up, you know, collecting my stuff back again to... Uh, I, don't, I don't know which way. To be able to sell it, that'd be great. Money's definitely going to be more of a prevalent thing, at least in this game. That goes to the cellar. Did I put anything in the cellar? We'll check there, and then um, we'll call it quits for now. I don't think we would have dropped anything in here, because I, I actually think there was nothing here, if I remember correctly. But I can at least do this. I don't need to have these barrels. Yeah, I don't I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here. All right, well we found the shop and we uh we made some mistakes in it. I thought the ruby would have been something to make it magical, but I guess not. But uh, when we come back, we'll explore the uh, manor a little bit more. And we will see if we can end up getting um, any of our items that we would have dropped back. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you back here for more Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2. Thanks for watching.